Hello. So in this video, uh, we're going to be doing factoring with the coefficient method. Um, so this is factoring technique for quadratic forms. Um, I'm going to start by sort of showing the general sort of motivation behind it, and then do some concrete examples, which will probably be more helpful. So when we factor something, our goal is to get it written as a product of factors, hence the name. So in particular, for a quadratic, um, we could have, so a quadratic, remember, so a quadratic uh, polynomial has the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So for the coefficient method, the coefficient method, um, we assume a equals 1, meaning that this is only going to work for what we call monic, uh, monic quadratic forms, or quadratics where the leading coefficient is 1. Okay. So if we have a quadratic whose leading coefficient is 1, our goal then is to write it in as um, goal to write in the form some x minus h and x minus k. Or maybe I'll do the minus or plus doesn't matter so much at the moment. I'm going to do plus just so it lines up a little better with the algebra. So we want to rewrite this sort of general thing where a is 1. So we have something that looks like x squared plus bx plus c, right? Because the leading thing is 1, so I don't have to write it. We want to write it as um, x plus a number times x plus a number. I realize lots of letters, bear with me. We'll go through sort of the algorithm and, and concrete versions in a moment. To figure out how we're going to do that, um, we're basically going to reverse engineer this. So we're going to expand this out and look at how it, it, it compares to this version. So if I expand this out, um, this will be an opportunity to show the sort of distribution. So you're probably used to doing this with FOIL. Um, but FOIL only works if you have exactly this kind of setup, a binomial times a binomial. So if you have something that's like a trinomial, right, three terms times something that is three terms, FOIL doesn't work for you. So the sort of more general version that always works is that you want to take each thing in here and multiply it against all of that. So for example, I would have x times all of this, x plus k, plus h times that, x plus k, and then do that again. So x times x is x squared, x times k is kx, plus h times x is hx, and h times k. And combining like terms, it gives me, uh, this has a common x, so I can factor that out to get k plus hx plus hk. So this motivates the observation that is probably the part that most of you remember, which is that we want two numbers that multiply to the constant, right? Because these things should be the same. These are the constants. So I want an h and a k that multiply to c but add to b. So looking at this form then, we want uh, two numbers that multiply to c and add to b. Okay? Right, because they should multiply to get c, they should add to get b. So again, this is sort of easiest to see with a concrete example. So let's look at, for example, uh, x squared uh, plus, let's say, 7x plus 10. Okay, so I want to factor this using this coefficients method. So I want to look at two things that multiply to 10 but add to 7. So I can look at any pair of things that multiply to 10. So for example, I could have 1 and 10, that multiplies to 10. I could have 2 and 5, that multiplies to 10. 
that's pretty much it, right? One and 10, those add to 11, that's not gonna work. Two and five, that, multi that adds to seven, so that works. So these represent my H and K, meaning that this thing is X plus one of them, whichever one, two times X plus the other. And it really is that straightforward, okay? So try another example. Uh, let's do x squared minus 7x plus 10. So again, it's 10 at the end, so I have the same factors, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. But here, adding 1 and 10 is 11, adding 2 and 5 is 7. I need a negative 7. But remember, I could also, right, if I multiply both of them right, by negative one, I'm not gonna change their product. Meaning, if I look at two times five, I get 10, but if I look at negative two and negative five, negative two times negative five is also positive 10, right? So, the positive then could be two positive numbers or two negative numbers, and if I have two negatives, I can do, write negative two plus negative seven, uh, negative two plus negative five to get negative seven. So I can get x plus uh, negative two, times x plus negative five, which the sort of more natural way of writing this right is x minus two, x minus five. But I'm just emphasizing that I'm still doing the same process. It's still plus that thing if I'm doing it this way, okay? And last but not least, another example. Uh, let's look at x squared, um, let's look at plus three minus 15. Uh, sorry, 3x minus 15. So negative 15 now, right? In order to get a product to be negative 15, I need to have one positive and one negative. So 15, I could have one and negative 15. I could have negative one and 15. I could have three and negative five. I could have negative three and five. And that's about it, right? Yes, although I totally did that not the way I wanted because I wanted negative 18, not. Whoops, sorry, let me fix that. In fact, just so I don't have to rewrite it, I'm just gonna rewrite this instead. This wasn't the example I was gonna do, but that's okay. So let's make this two x. All right, um, so again, I would go through this list, right? So these are all negative 15. I'd look for a way of adding them together to get positive two, so that's gonna be this last one. So I'm gonna get x plus negative three times x plus five, which is really just x minus three, x plus five. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So. For the coefficient method, right, the whole, the important thing is that the coefficient for the, the leading coefficient, the coefficient for the, the square term, the sort of leading term, is one. Um, if it's not one, we have to use a different method. That's the AC method. We'll talk about that later. And then if it is one, then you can factor the constant term and then try to find two that add up to the middle term. And if you can, then you can factor it using this method. If you can't, then you have to do something else. Okay. All right, that is that.